let's talk about star trails in detail. Why do they appear the way they do? Generally, we start this conversation by revisiting the idea that if an observer is standing on the North Pole of Earth, then the North Celestial Pole, where Polaris can be found in the sky, is directly overhead. Notice, though, that as Earth rotates eastward, or clockwise, beneath our feet when standing at the North Pole, and generally anywhere on the Northern Hemisphere, the stars appear to travel counterclockwise across the sky throughout the night from our point of view. In another scenario, if this observer should start traveling south towards the equator, they'll eventually find themselves in the intermediate latitudes, where the latitude of the observer is equal to the altitude of the North Celestial Pole in their sky. When this observer travels even further south and finally finds themselves directly at the equator, the North Celestial Pole will now appear on their distant horizon. In both of these additional cases, the stars continue to appear to travel counterclockwise across the sky throughout the night for these observers on the Northern Hemisphere. With this in mind, we can conjecture that the reverse of each situation is true for observers in the Southern Hemisphere. So let's take a look at these star trails and determine their directions from an Earth-based observer's point of view as seen from anywhere on Earth. We'll start first on the Northern Hemisphere. Towards the North, we'll see that the North Celestial Pole is the central point around which all the stars of the sky rotate counterclockwise. Turn around and face south and you'll see the stars move in the opposite direction, clockwise. Towards the east and towards the west, the stars will rise and set as expected, their paths angled respective to the celestial equator. Interestingly enough, though, the stars located slightly more towards the north in the eastern sky will still follow a somewhat counterclockwise direction, while those more southward from directly due east will appear to have a slightly more clockwise rotation. And the opposite is true for stars appearing in the northwestern and southwestern skies. Now we take all of what we just saw about star trails as seen from the northern hemisphere and reverse all the directions to get a sense for how star trails appear as seen from the southern hemisphere instead. Towards the north, the stars continue to appear to move counterclockwise throughout the night, but their central point, the North Celestial Pole, is no longer visible as it is now located well below the horizon for observers on the southern hemisphere. Instead, these observers will see the South Celestial Pole when facing directly due south. Here, the circumpolar stars trace out clockwise star trails around the South Celestial Pole. To the east and to the west, the stars continue to rise and set as expected. However, they are angled opposite to the direction of the rising and setting stars of the east and west on the northern hemisphere. And as for the in-between directions of northeast, southeast, northwest, and southwest, the star trails appear to blend the motions of the circumpolar stars and those that are rising directly due east or setting directly due west, almost like the missing puzzle pieces to complete the picture. And last but not least, the most interesting place to stargaze and follow star trails, the equator. Towards the north, the circumpolar stars appear to travel counterclockwise around the north celestial pole, which in this case sits just on the horizon. And similarly, the circumpolar stars around the south celestial pole, which also sits on the horizon when looking towards the south, can be seen to draw out clockwise star trails. To the east and to the west, the stars appear to rise straight up out of the distant horizon in the east and set straight down into it, on the opposite side, towards the west. The in-between directions of northeast, southeast, northwest, and southwest tie it in together again, providing the full picture of the star trails of the night sky. This long exposure panoramic image shows the North Celestial Pole and Polaris just above the horizon on the left and the South Celestial Pole on the right. It was taken just two degrees above the equator near Lake Turkana in northern Kenya, and it captures the stars as they trace out beautiful ribbons of star trails across the entire night sky.